Hey guys, Joe Holbrook here, the Cloud Tech Guy. I, I think we're in a period in history where we have what's called enchitification really happening. One of the things that I'm really shocked by is just the low level trust society that we seem to have. And I, I feel that this is not for the better. Anyone that grew up in the 90s, for example, would know that we had a high trust society. We could expect neighbors to be neighbors. We could expect companies to be remotely respectful. That is not something that is happening. And I think this is because of a number of different reasons. Now, for anyone that's under, let's say, 40, 45, let's say, you probably don't have memories of this. And this may be, again, geography-based where you live and culture you grew up in, too. But I know I grew up in a solid neighborhood where everybody knew each other. Everybody was friendly. Everybody was culturally the same. I'll say it like that. And we had respect. That was something that was so true. And then if we... Let's say growing up, we wanted to find a job. We could go to the local place and put in an application and we would at least get respect saying, thanks for the application. You know, we were looking for someone else. We'll definitely keep you in mind if something comes up. Generally, we would expect that. Nowadays, everything is so and shitified. In other words, companies, they intentionally treat you like you're nothing but leftovers. That's pretty much just the nice way of putting it. And I think, too, one of the things about the tech market right now is this is even worse in the tech market, it seems, than in a lot of other industries. Not that they're much better. Because the reality is that layoffs are happening everywhere. And companies are literally just going out of their way to manipulate their share prices, to utilize AI, to pretend there's perceived value in it. In reality, there is very little value in AI for most industries. And especially with the POCs that I've worked on, I can tell you right now, most of this is nothing but a financial game. It's called financial engineering. And it always bites organizations down the road. But I think it's important to realize that if you are looking for a new role, a new contract, you're looking for something new to learn, you have to realize that this world is so dynamic and it's changing in a way that is extremely negative. And one thing I always like to tell the the folks I coach, my mentorees, for example, is that what you learn today will have very little value tomorrow from a tech perspective in most cases. There are exceptions. Like if you're a mainframe expert and you can work in the federal government market, that may be different. You're making more money than ever. On the other hand, if you're going to learn tech stack, like, you know, maybe the front end, the back end, you know, learn AI today. The fact is, is that everybody and their brother now on AI is is really, they seem to be an expert. They know everything. I, I'm so tired of getting on LinkedIn and seeing these nitwits, for crying out loud, that are digital marketers saying they're AI experts. Most of these folks couldn't put an agent together or couldn't even run a custom chat GPT if they didn't have a hand-holding session. Okay, that's the problem is... I think one of the challenges, too, is we're in a world where experience may not matter as much than showtime. We have to be a good actor to really exceed in this world in most cases. And so the people that are really getting the jobs in a lot of cases are not going to be the best people. They're going to be the ones that act. They're the ones that pretend. They're the ones that lie, cheat, steal, manipulate. That's my opinion. And I, I actually know a few of these people. 
And I was really shocked to see that they would even be able to get certain roles. But again, a lot of this just comes down to how the world works. It has nothing to do with you. If you want to be honest, you don't want to pretend, you don't want to manipulate, you don't want to lie or cheat or steal. You have to be aware that this world is not designed for you. It's just the fact. And this is just one more reason where you're going to have to be fully self-employed, get all your side gigs in order, and just take charge because this employment market is vicious. It's the worst I've ever seen. I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy because the reality is, is things will only get worse because if you can't tell, the economics are absolutely stupid. These companies that are putting all this money in AI, they're not doing it because they're really for AI. They're doing it because they have to manipulate the numbers. They don't have a choice. They're not making money. Most of these companies, other than the top five or eight, I think, in the S&P, they're all frauds. They're all zombie companies. So it's all about playing a game. And unfortunately, a lot of people have been, and a lot more people will continue to be part of this game. You're going to find the layoffs will accelerate. You're going to also find, too, that the rewards will go to the people at the top. They're not going to go to you making your silly $150,000 salary a year. They're, not, they're going to go to someone that's making five, eight, a $1 million a year playing numbers games. It's not someone doing the work. We all know that. This is probably not a surprise. But the main point of this video is to just rant about how crappy things are and have been and are just getting worse. The fact is that society is breaking down. Just my thoughts. And if you're in tech and you're not finding side hustles to do, you're foolish. Unless if you're making five, dollars $800,000 pretending you're doing something useful with LLMs or something, you know, whatever. Good for you. But in reality, most people in tech are going to are going to find things very different, I think, here in the near future. Just my thoughts. I hope I'm wrong. But the reality is, is that this is a very dynamic world we're in. It's only getting more dynamic and unstable, to, to really put it a different way. Best of luck, friends. I really wish you all the best. Cheers.